Got Everything to sweet by Charles Miles. She can do it. This is Charles with Everything Sweet. As y'all know, we back in the kitchen. Okay? Now, if you're a chocolate lover, this is your day. We're making a chocolate pound cake. Okay? And we're using coffee. And we're using cocoa. Okay? Now, this is what you're going to need to get this project up and running. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, buttermilk, granulated sugar, no oil. Now, we got our coffee and our chocolate in here. We'll tell you what to do with that a little later on. And vanilla extract, and we got three eggs. Okay. Now, your coffee and your cocoa. You want to put your coffee in a little pot like we got here. Let it come to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, cut it off. Then add your coconut, cocoa in there. Stir it up. Make sure you got a good mixture right there. And this going to have to completely cool now before you add it to your cake back. That's why we already made it earlier and got that out of the way. But it's completely cool and our coffee and our cocoa is in our little saucepan. Okay, we're going to get started. Now we're going to add our sugar to our bowl and we're going to add our canola oil. Now this recipe is not going to take that long. Or uh, uh, you not you don't have any butter or shortening to cream that, that much. So you use canola oil and your sugar. So we're going to get through with this very, very quickly, okay? All right, we're going to the bowl now. Y'all come on with us. Okay, our sugar going in. Canola oil going in. We're going to let this mix about a minute, then we're going to start adding eggs, okay? Okay, our coffee and our cocoa mixture going in now. Now remember now, when you put this on the stove, you gotta get completely cool before you add it to your cake batter, okay? So you just want that, that coffee to start boiling. As soon as it start boiling, cut it off. You don't have to boil long. And you take your cocoa powder and you mix it in with your coffee. That's where we at now, okay? Get all of that out of there. You know how we do it, we want it all out there. Bought it all, use it all. Okay, we're gonna let that mix. Okay, incorporate it. And fully incorporate with the rest of the batch. We're gonna go ahead and put our Flavor in. We're going to let that mix for about a minute. Okay, we're going to start adding our flour. We're going to do it in three stages. And also our buttermilk. Now, baking soda and our salt is in our flour. You know how we do it. And a little bit of the buttermilk. Let that mix and tie combine. Okay, we're gonna add a third batch of second batch of flour. Buttermilk. Mix about a minute or two, and we're gonna be ready to pan up. All right, 
back on straight down. Make sure we get everything mixed in together, okay? Get off the bottom, off the sides. Treat him, baby. You a chocolate lover. You in the right place today, baby. You got that coffee in there. You got that cocoa in here. We got that oil in here. They're all just gonna make it moist. I'm telling you the truth. All right, we're gonna mix for about another minute. We'll be ready to pan up. All right, we're taking a bad dash out. Our oven is already preheated at 350 degrees. We got our bun pan greased and dust. This is a 10 cup bun pan. So you may not take all this better. We're gonna put it in and see how much better we're gonna have left over. And we got a cupcake pan over there just in case uh, we have that left which we figure we're gonna have some left we're gonna go ahead and put this in now and see how it works out So far, this is going to go in there. We don't want it to come past the paint, okay? And we got to clean the oven out. We don't want to do that. Anything, keep having to clean that oven out. Here's what we got left. And I might go ahead and put it in. Since there ain't enough to even talk about. Chocolate. You're a chocolate lover, you're in the right place. Or when it, when it cool down, about an hour and a half, two hours. I watched some video, he said he uh, don't take him out to pan and until the next day. I, I can't wait till the next day. So I'm going to say two hours, we're going to come back. We're going to uh, flip it out. We're going to put ganache on it, let it grate down. Then we're going to shave some chocolate on top. Don't go nowhere. You don't want to miss this. We'll see you in about a couple hours. Back. Our chocolate masterpiece has cooled. Now we've been to ice it. We have two cups of heavy cream right here. We're going to put it in a two-quart saucepan, okay? Put it on the fire over here. 
we want that to get hot first set of bubbles that are getting hot we're going to shed it off then we're going to put our chocolate into it we're going to let it set then we're going to mix it okay we're going to let that do what it's going to do and we'll be right back with you when this start to boil okay See that's starting to boil? That's when you take it off. Okay? Now we're going to take it off. Transfer it into our bowl here. We're just going to leave a little bit and see we had to thin it out. We're going to add a cup and a half of chocolate. Just gonna let that sit out for a few minutes until the chocolate start to melt. And once that chocolate starts to melt, we'll mix it in and we'll make an adjustment if we have to make adjustments. That's all baking is making adjustments, baby. You know you bake a cake, and you do it quite a few times, then one time it just don't come out alright. You can't figure out what you did wrong. Well, the weather got a lot to do with how your cake come out, you know. Did you make it in the summertime? Did you make it in the wintertime? Did you make it in the fall? The weather changed chemicals. That's what you're dealing with, chemicals. Depends on the weather. Depends on how your cake come out. In summertime, you might have to add a little bit more liquid in it because summertime, you know, stuff evaporating. People sweat. Same thing when you're in the kitchen. Wintertime. Stuff might be cold. You say room temperature, if your room, you know, is 45, 50 degrees, and that's not going to be the room temperature desire for baking. So you might have to make some adjustments. You might have to turn the, you know, stove on, set them by the stove so they get that little chill off them. You might have to throw them in the microwave for a few minutes, okay? So you have to make adjustments. That's all baking here. Now we're going to stir this in and see where we're at. Still seem to be doing what it's doing. Let it sit just a little longer and we'll be right back. Okay, we got a canache. What we wanted at. We had two cups of heavy cream. We know right away that was a mistake. So we got one cup of heavy cream. A cup and a half of shaved chocolate, okay? Don't forget that now. Trying to get it a little sick, can we see? You probably miss a few, but that'd be all right. You chocolate lover, baby. <laughs> Just what you need to be. Then you got that chocolate cake with that coffee in there. Then you got canache with chocolate and heavy cream. And don't think we're through now. We're going to let that dry just a little bit. Then we're going to shave some white chocolate on top. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Y'all, come on now. You, you got dark chocolate with heavy cream. 
You got coffee with cocoa in it. Then you're going to have shaved white chocolate on top. I'm going to stop talking. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Now we got a potato, a potato peel here. And all you do, making that sh shaved chocolate, just run that thing like that. Just go slow as you can. And just bring it up. And it automatically cure up, okay? Now, we already put a little on top. We're going to sprinkle just a little bit more on that thing. Oh, man. You got, you got that dog chocolate. <laughs> that heavy cream, baby. Then <laughs> you got that little white chocolate on top. Baby, listen. We're going to let this thing dry. And you know what, Nate? We're going to come back and taste that. Okay, don't go nowhere. Stay with us. Okay, we are back. And we done iced it. <laughs> we done decorated it. <laughs> now ain't only one thing left. Taste test, baby. Look at that. Look at that chocolate. Look at all of him, Mike. There you go, Sean. There you go. I'm going to go first, then you go after me. Oh, I'm going to get this part. Okay, well, let me get my part out of the way first. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Man, listen, we had some of that canard left. See, when you got some of that canard left, mm -hmm. you can you can do that right there. Mm -hmm. If you got some left, now if you ain't got none left, you can't do that. You got white chocolate right on top there. We're gonna get some of that white chocolate and that canard. Mm -hmm. Your piece is bigger than mine. I know. This ain't got a bigger piece than mine. <laughs> If y'all chocolate fan, this is better to bad at it, okay? And while he's finishing that, if you're not a subscriber, this would be a good time to subscribe. So take that finger, boom, hit that subscribe button. Don't take the finish now. You got that here sharing light. Mm -hmm. And if you're truly a fan, then you tell somebody. Tell your sister, tell your brother, tell your mom, auntie, cousin, Charles in town. When Charles is in the kitchen, you need to be in the kitchen, okay? Now look at him. He just gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put this somewhere where he can't get to it. We gonna say this <laughs> for other parts of the family. Oh yeah. I didn't know you like chocolate like that. I love chocolate. He said he loves chocolate. <laughs> Listen, we'll be back next week with another fantastic, fantastic, delicious dessert, okay? But go ahead and try. We I think we had nine hundred and three or four. We need something like ninety seven to get over the hump. So tell somebody to wow. check Charles out on everything sweet. Okay. Now y'all come back next week. We're gonna start working on. Wait, what about some thumbs up? What about some thumbs up? What do it? You standing there? <laughs> I did. All right, we're going to be back next week, and we're going to be working on Easter cakes. Okay? I guess we got Easter coming up. We're going to be making Easter cakes, Easter eggs. Just come on back with us and see what we're coming up with, okay? Tell somebody that everything sweet is making Easter cakes, eggs, cupcakes, and what have you, okay? So come on back. I guess. Now, go ahead and subscribe now before I finish this video, okay? Now, I don't finish this video, so you need to subscribe. Got next week. We out of here. I gave him 10.